Plagiarism occurs when you take someone else's work or ideas and pass them off as your own. You probably know that you shouldn't copy others' work. But did you know that it's possible to commit plagiarism by accident? FHSU's academic honesty policy prohibits plagiarism, and the Tiger Pact emphasizes integrity, honesty, and responsibility. So you know that Fort Hayes takes this issue seriously. Whenever you quote, summarize, or paraphrase someone else's work, or even your own previous work, you need to provide a citation. There are many different citation styles, but all of them are designed to provide enough information that someone else could find the original source and read it for themselves. Ideally, you should also introduce a source the first time you use it. Who is the author? What makes them an expert? To really avoid plagiarism, you need to make it clear which ideas are yours and which ideas originated with someone else. Even if you completely change the wording of the original, it's necessary to cite any information or ideas that didn't start with you. When you use someone else's work, you also need to represent it accurately. Don't twist their words, even if they disagree with you, and be sure to provide enough context that your readers will understand the original author's point or argument. Most of all, be confident in your own abilities. Your ideas are valuable and original, so be sure to share them. Cite sources to support your ideas, but don't overdo it. Your readers want to know what you think. They don't just want a summary of what lots of other people think. Unless the original author's phrasing is important. Summarizing covers the main ideas from an entire document, and paraphrasing only covers one passage, but both involve putting ideas in your own words, whereas quoting uses the author's original words. Using your own words lets you fit ideas into the flow of your writing smoothly, clarifies them for your audience, and demonstrates that you understand the content. If you have questions about plagiarizing or citations, feel free to ask a librarian for help. And if you need more in-depth writing help, please visit the Writing Center or use the Virtual College's Smart Thinking service for online students.